Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PCM Tech Help Show at PCMTechHelp.com and in today's video I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the Adware software. Uh, we're going to go over it and I'm going to give you a nice review of everything in it and uh, basically let you decide if you want to run Adware on your machine anymore. Now if for those of you who are in IT or have worked with software like this before, you know that Adware has been around for quite some time. Uh, as you can see the interface has changed quite a bit over the past what, 10 years it's been around? It's probably not that long, seven maybe? Um, but uh, it, it used to be the go-to tool for removing spyware, of course, before malware bytes came around. Now, if you do need this software or any other software like it, I do have at my website, a little bit of a shameless plug here, but I like to let everybody know. If you go to pcmtechhelp.com uh, and select free downloads at the top, uh, you can scroll down and this is available under the anti-spyware tools section. Uh, and that's Adware free anti-spyware. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the interface is a lot more clean, but I would actually say that this interface is a little more on par with what I like to call a phishing scam. It actually kind of looks like that software that you get installed on your computer from a malware or a virus. And it, it tells you that in order to do anything, you need to pay money. Uh, it doesn't do that. It just looks like it, in my opinion. I think it kind of looks gimmicky. Um, that's, that's my first impression when I look at the software. Uh, now, another really annoying thing about this software right off the bat is it does require you to install a toolbar in order to install the software. Now, I'm not going to only talk about the negatives here, but those are two off the top uh, pet peeves that I have. So let's go ahead and go through all the features at least. Um, of course, with the free version, you're not going to get the full functionality of the software, which is fine. We're going to go over the free version today. And as you can see, anti -spyware, antivirus and anti-spyware, I can click reports. Um, and uh, I'll just start right here at the top. You have the uh, scanning options, which is main antivirus quick scan. Uh, we can run a quick scan, uh, like any other anti-spyware software, which will scan over some basic stuff. I kind of like that it shows you what it's scanning on the quick scan. The full scan shows everything that's included. Um, of course, I recommend people run a full scan the first time they install any software. And then there's the custom scan where you can pick and choose, which I can't find anybody actually finding a practical use for that. Uh, as for the definition base, it is pretty good. It's not a bad uh, piece of software for finding stuff. And for it being free, it's a good tool to have on hand. Uh, again, it doesn't run in real time. Uh, so this is more one of those things that you'll fall back on. You know, if malware bytes doesn't catch it, if super anti spyware doesn't catch it, you can fall back on Adware and give it a shot. You know, it's, I wouldn't recommend, oh, go get this one if you think you have a virus today. That's malware bytes. That will always be malware bytes, hopefully. Uh, on the left hand side, we can do quarantine. And this will show all the stuff it's caught and stored. And at that point, you can restore something or delete stuff out of your quarantine. Uh, reports will actually give you historical reports of your scans and what it found. Uh, schedule, you can uh, have it automatically scan your computer. I don't like to automatically do anything, uh, really. I like to do all my stuff manually, but if you're one of those people who forgets, that's fine. Just set it up, do it automatically. Uh, the ignore list is if you have certain files you want it to, to ignore, and of course there are things called false positives. Uh, so, you know, if, if for any reason it finds a false positive, in this case you can just tell it to ignore that file the next time. Update definitions will let you actually update your definitions. Uh, performance settings are. This is kind of an interesting. <laughs> this is kind of an interesting uh, setup here. I, I actually kind of wish more software did this. But you can set the thread priority of your processor on the scan. So in other words, if if you want it to take full control of your processor and do it as quick as possible, you can bump up the the processor speed to normal, above normal, and higher. So it'll, it'll ignore other processes. Uh, not ignore, but it'll give this one priority over other processes, so the scan completes quicker. And then we got the malware lab, and it asks if you want to send suspicious files there. Uh, so that's that's one of the basic overviews of the antivirus and uh, anti-spyware. Um, if we go to advanced protection here on the right-hand side, you got safe browsing. Uh, let's go ahead and go through these real quick. Uh, you got real-time protection, which isn't available on the free version. You have to buy the full version for real-time protection. I do not recommend enabling real-time protection on this if you have another antivirus software installed. If you want an antivirus software, look for a free one like Microsoft Security Essentials. Um, Avast is still pretty good. AVG Free is meh. Uh, so there's, there's some free antiviruses out there still. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using something like this in real time along with an antivirus because it's going to slow down your computer immensely. 
Uh, shop and banking safety, uh, you can enable this. What it'll do is it'll, if you come to any kind of phishing website with security certificates aren't good, it'll catch them. Email protection, this is good for incoming and outgoing pop email. Notice, note that this will not work with web-based mail clients. This is for like Outlook and things like that. Uh, advanced firewall is uh, not enabled on the, it's not available actually on the, uh, on the free version. See, I, as soon as I try to enable it, it unchecks it. External, external storage scan is you can ex scan your external flash drives, hard drives. Safe networking, um, this is this is kind of built into, um, uh, it's kind of built into your software package. It'll actually scan things as you're downloading and running them. Um, and if, it, if any program tries to do a modification to another part of your system, this will catch it. So that's that's kind of a good thing to do too. Uh, and safe browsing is uh, basically, they've already got a preset list of bad URLs and things like that. So that's all there is to it, actually. This is this is pretty much Adaware from LavaSoft. My overall impressions of it are it's a good tool to have as a just-in-case. I don't even download and install it unless I have to. Uh, I always go to Malwarebytes first. If Malwarebytes doesn't work, I usually use an NOD32 online scanner, which is actually an antivirus. Uh, but uh, if either of those don't work, then hey, we're shooting the breeze here we're just trying to find something that'll work for us and this is a good one to jump to now the problem is too is like i said is it installed a uh, it installed a, a toolbar so i'm gonna have to go in and manually uninstall that after i reinstall this so that's all there is to this video as always thanks for stopping by don't forget to leave comments and ratings and thumbs up this video if you liked it again you can follow me on twitter that's at craig chamberlain you can also follow me on facebook uh pc machine tech help shows on there and i'm on there and uh, don't forget to uh, swing by the community forum. You can ask any questions you might have. Thanks again for stopping by, and I hope to see you guys soon.